Hey guys, um, I thought today I would do an intro walk around video for, I looked over there because it's over there, um, my Campin 550 Ultra model and kind of give you some up close looks and how it works and uh, so let's do that. So here we have it out of the garage. I've been storing it in the garage since we got back from the Cedar a couple weeks ago. Uh, so let's just do our walk around. Uh, here's the front. Well, it's an 11 pound propane tank. They say it could last up to two years. Depends on how much you use it, of course. And then the side there is uh, storage, you know, for whatever you can you need to store um, here's the here's the side there's one door I don't even know if I have it unlocked I should go get the keys yep I do have it unlocked still has that new car smell new trailer smell um, we have curtains here that we can adjust screen door um, good tires are 14 inch tires so I wanted to show you the front storage it's lockable and got a little bit of room in there to store stuff I only have the jack handle right now but I would put like the wheel chocks in there. Here's uh, access to the water system. Again, it's under lock and key. Um, this blue is uh, your fresh water tank. You can just unscrew this and you know, put a hose in and fill it up. It's nine gallons, I think, eight or nine gallons. Um, this is, if, if you go to a, a campsite that has water, you can hook a hose to here and use the campsite water. And then the yellow here is the output to that. So if you had an external, wanted to wash off, um, fill a bucket, you could use that. Um, here, is um, a gas uh, extent, you know, to the propane. Let's say you had an external. What I'd like to get is a water heater. So then you can do dishes with hot water. Um, but, you know, people get showers and stuff like that. <clears throat> um, you know, anything that those one pound Coleman green propane tanks use, you can use this. And I got a hose as an accessory too that they give you. Um, so that's that. Hi guys. Um, I actually did this part of the video already. I moved the trailer in and I forgot to re hit the record button. So I wanted to go over it again. So here's the interior of the 550. This is, this end here is where you, your head is, where you sleep. Then go over there, there's a door across the way. And then down here is where your feet go. So it's a queen size bed. Um, we have two lights. I don't know if you can see, I don't think you can, it's not picking it up. But it can either be red or a white light. And I have them on just so, cause I'm in the garage and I didn't want to pull it back out. Um, but <clears throat> let me show you. Some of the storage. Again, the woodwork here is what's really cool. You can see this, but the grain continues on. This was all one piece of wood, this whole front. And it's so cool how they're, they're able to do that. Um, so here's front storage. Okay. This is uh, where the heat, the propane heater, will come out. And right there is a thermostat, how you control that. Haven't used that yet, of course. 
And then there's the other storage. And in there, there's AC power, 12 volt power, and USB. So I, what I used it for is to charge my phone and my watch when I went to bed. Um, again, that's a door on that side. This thing here is a screen. I, I'm taking it out. and uh, So you can have the doors open and then have the screen for maximum airflow if it's really hot. Now, turning, turning toward the front, we have two cabinets on the bottom, two cabinets, air conditioner on the top. Um, so let me show you again, matching green. What's nice about this is they're angled down, so things aren't going to be want to fall out at all. So you can put some maybe heavier stuffs and put them toward the back, maybe. This cabinet comes out. There's like a spot for a drink if you want. I use my iPad. I'd put it right here and I'd sit up and watch. It was like perfect. Perfect size, perfect screen. Um, and this storage goes all the way through the width of the camper. So you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Um, this is water exhaust from the air conditioner. It'll go down here and out outside so the air conditioner is um you have to have shore power to use the air conditioner um but it worked really good the nights i camped on the way back and right up on the ceiling is a fantastic fan so like the first night i didn't have electricity so i used a fantastic fan and i had the windows open Later in the night, I had to get under the sleeping bag. And it got so cool. So, probably won't need air conditioning a whole lot. At least around in New York. But I, I'm glad I got it. Um, <clears throat> also, I got another option are these handicap bars. And... I got them because it was an option and I thought, you know, I'd never been in here. So I thought anything can help you move around. I, I would get it. And what was interesting when I got there that the day before I was going to pick her up. Um, I hurt my back lifting the cooler. <laughs> so <clears throat> um, I'm gl really glad I did because just rolling over at night, it was nice to reach up and grab that and adjust and really came in handy so and another thing I don't know if you can see it up over there there's a coat hook there and on the opposite side there's another coat hook and what I again I got them or maybe it just came with the ultra package but what they explained to me you could use a clothesline and connect the two and then hang some clothes if, you know, things got wet and you wanted to dry them out. Um, I thought that was kind of a cool idea. Um, again, these, uh, these curtains inside are just free form. You can move them wherever you want. Um, I just kept them open and looked out at the stars. You could see a little bit. Um, the door is a, it's got a screen door and then that curtain will clip in the bottom and top so you really can get privacy with that it won't won't move at all <clears throat> so i think that's about it for the well there's this thing i like this little plate shelf to put your keys your phone whatever when you go to bed the last things you take out of your pockets that's really kind of nice Okay, here's uh, the galley all set up. There's a fridge there on that table. Here's the galley. And here's another table where you can put stuff. Um, when you pull out the fridge, then you can pull out the 
the stove. It's a 15,000 BTU stove. Um, I used it a few times on the trip home and it worked really, really good. So here, up here, it's a good place. I got the hoses and stuff here, but once you get packed for camping, this is a good area along with the other side where you can put stuff. When the lid comes down, the lid will hit right here. It will not allow any, anything in here to move or to fall on it or anything. So I guess people use it for bread and rolls and that kind of thing. Um, so, so that's really kind of cool. Um, then this right here, this drawer here is like a silverware drawer. I do actually have some silverware in there. So a drawer comes out, you can put it on a table. Um, so like if people come by and they just need to pick up their forks and knives, they could do it. So like I said, um, uh, there's a eight or nine gallon fresh water tank and waste tank. And here's the water system. You got a little cutting board here. That's nice. Um, you, you turn on the pump, that red light there, and then you got water. So that water I just shot went to the waste tank, um, which is, let me show you, let's go down underneath. See that white cap there? That's the waste tank. And here's the fresh tank, again with the white cap. The water procedure is simply, when you're gonna go camping, you fill it with water, the fresh tank with water from your own Whitesboro water. You go on your camp, you use whatever water you need to use. When you get home, you empty both tanks. And then you refill the fresh water tank. And you, you know, then you park it. And then let's say the next weekend you're going, before you go, what you do is empty it, both tanks, fill it again with fresh. And then you go, and that's the water you would use on that trip. Um, the idea being is they want the tank always to be full um, it, most of the time. So even when you're, you know, obviously in the winter, you wouldn't. Obviously, that it has to be winterized and not any water in the system. But during the spring, summer, and fall, even when you're parked and you're not camping, they want water in the tanks. So here's the other side. Again, you get a, a nice cabinet to store stuff. I put soap and plates and that kind of thing in there. Um, so, and again, just to point out the wood match. So, really nice. Um, here, you have, uh, gives you an idea of how much uh, uh, water you have. So here's the waste, which is which is empty, fresh, which apparently only have about half full. I must not have filled it up. And then you can check your battery. And when they're all lit like that, that means you're fully charged. And here's that fresh water pump. So I can turn that off. We've got some plugs, 12 volt and USB connections. So when, when I'm driving, the refrigerator there on that table will be stored here and um, plugged in here. So even when I'm driving, the Jeep will charge the camper battery and then that battery will keep the refrigerator running. When it's out here, there's an external 12 volt that I can plug it into. So then you can close the lid, keep your refrigerator out maybe during the day. Um, you know, you probably want to put it away because of bears and stuff when you go to bed. But, <clears throat> yeah. So, the, your whole work area is stainless steel. So, to clean up, you can use something, again, like uh, um, Barkeeper's Friend. That's what I bought. I like that product. And uh, keep it nice and shiny uh, and clean. So, storage, we have these... 
lift up these two lids and there are containers. Now these are like user definable. You can change, you know, move it over to here, define your space as, as the way you want. Store here what you want. Um, there's that one, that's a short one. And then this one is designed to be um, the height of a vegetable can. So I can get by a lot of vegetables in the can and store them in here. Then I can eat them. So storage here is two big bins, three bins of storage. The first one here, um, you put stuff, well, whatever you want, but I'm going to put pans in there. Then this section here, they made specially for skillets, uh, cast iron skillets. So they'll be separated and not um, damage anything else that you have in here. Then this one, again, here's my little toaster guy. And, um, you know, maybe food, more, whatever you need, you know. So there's quite a bit of storage. Now to close cabin door you just lift it a little bit press this get it about halfway up drop it down grab the handle close it well that was our little walkthrough um haven't really set up any plans yet to go camping not quite sure if jack can can go he's in He's got, he's got, he's in a lot of pain, so not quite sure. Might just do a Sunday night or something at Delta um, in the next few weeks. Uh, just have to play it by ear. So, thanks!